So this is going to be a random video. I had an exhaust uh, upgrade <laughs> done to quiet things up and drove the car for about uh, 30 minutes at uh, highway speeds and just some other miscellaneous stuff. I'm Shane and I like to do car stuff. So as I was saying today, I uh, took the car down, actually yesterday I took the car down and had some exhaust work done. Uh, just to mostly kind of tidy things up a little bit, change the tips, move them out to where they were going out the side exit instead of the bastardized thing I inherited when I got the car. Um, and just basically that and to quiet the car up. So. This is what I ended up with. All right, so I had the exhaust work done today, or some of it. So basically that stayed the way it was up there, uh, except um, he cut the ETR valve, I guess, where that tube comes out, and uh, patched it my request is because the upper end of it wasn't connected to anything um let's put a standard stainless pass-through muffler in there it's still kind of loud probably gonna want to quiet it up a little bit more i think i'm just kind of letting it go for a few days but anyway that is what we've got going on now that's it and then the tips. <sighs> I think it turned out decent. This little twin tip coming out of there. Um, I ran single from the Y pipe back through the muffler back to these tips. And uh, they. Uh, it's just a twin tip that goes on a single. So that was what he did back here. Anyway, it'll do for now, I guess. Okay, so my phone is kind of crapping out on me. And uh, this next part of the video is a little bit challenging just because my phone wasn't acting up when I did the before sound shot of the muffler or of the, the old muffler on my car. That's the daytime video you'll see. And then the other video, which is nighttime, I'm just not sure that it's given a true accurate representation of how it sounds. It is quieter than it was, but it's still fairly loud. And I think I'm going to put something different on there. Uh, I was just trying to get things tidied up, like I said before, and get get it quieted down enough that I didn't feel like I was waking up the dead when I drove by uh, through the neighborhood. So that'll be what this is supposed to show. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the other segment that I did at the, the exhaust shop today. Uh, but there again, it sounds really, it almost sounds louder than my before shot does. So I don't know what exactly what is the best representation uh, I do think I'm going to go with a, a, a Borla type muffler uh, or a Borla muffler to be the final installation. Uh, I just need to figure out which one. So maybe somebody's got a suggestion on which ones are good fits for the car as far as, I, I don't know if there's anything that you have to worry about with back pressure or anything like that or you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know anything about mufflers really other than some sound louder than others. Uh, but I would like to get something preferably like a round uh, tubular one, kind of like what you see in my video of the one that my uh, exhaust guy put on there, uh, just because of the space. Um, so anyway, that's what this next segment will be, and hopefully you can kind of get a little bit of a representation.
adaptation of the, di the difference in the sounds. Then I thought, let's take it out on the highway run and see if we can get something to break. Want to get it up to speed and run it for a good 30 minutes. And that's what I did. Uh, partially because of uh, my online 928 buddy, Todd Gibbs. Todd, this one's for you. You uh, challenged me to post a video of the car driving. It's a little tricky because I don't have a GoPro, although I did figure out my son has a GoPro. So maybe next time I can actually take a uh, little bit better video, but uh, you'll get the basic idea. All right, this is for Todd Gibbs. You want to see me driving the car? Got it out on the highway today. It's a little bit open out here right now, so I'm going to cheat for just a second, take a little video. I don't have a Speedo still, but 2,000 RPM is about 54, 55, or sorry, 64, 65 miles per hour. My temperature stays around that spot. It seems to anyway, no matter how long I've driven it so far. I've had it running for maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes straight a couple of times now and it normally stays right there at that I guess that's the whatever mark that is or right above it but uh, anyway just out for a little cruise oh I need some rear shock so bad all right there you go Todd it does drive all right, so that's about the hottest it runs. I've had it on a, at least a 30 minute drive. A lot of that at 55 to 65 miles an hour. Right now I'm just kind of cruising through a uh, 30 mile an hour zone where I'm getting ready to turn. But um, again, that's about as hot as it gets, which is not totally comforting to me, but uh, it doesn't seem to go any higher than that, so I don't know. Maybe we got some work to do there still with the cooling system. But one thing I notice is it has a electric fan mounted to the front of the radiator that is not wired up. The wires are hanging, so maybe I need to hook that up. So I've got this fan that's been mounted to the front of my air conditioner. Uh, um, sorry, I'm tired, but it, uh, it's not connected, so I don't even know if it works. I'm guessing it was supposed to go there, to that plug. Let's see if I can find another plug and then find out if it works or not. Uh, as I showed in my really part of my video, the uh, temperature gets up to about the three, well, top line um, before it overheats, you 
I'm kind of between those two lines. It's about the hottest I've seen it. Um, so, not too bad, but I mean, it's, well, I don't know if it's bad or not. Problem is, it, uh, it, it, well, the good news is it doesn't really go above that. The bad news is it seems kind of hot, and today it was a little bit warmer here in Tennessee, but, um, you know, we're going to get hotter days for sure. So, need to make sure that fan works so I can use it as a backup. Maybe I can. I don't know how they, uh, maybe somebody can tell me if this is standard wiring in here. If that's coming off of some kind of thermostat uh, control for the fan. Or if this is completely custom. Thanks. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The end of the video. Just kidding. Of course you haven't been waiting for that. You want more, right? So the moment you've truly been waiting for is a new little special bonus feature I'm going to call Small Wins Are Everything. Hey, small wins, right? So I was poking around trying to see if I can see the obvious spot where the... Uh, I was looking up here to see if I can find where the air mixture, fuel air mixture screw is and an idle adjustment screw. Uh, I'm going to do some more digging on that. Again, this is an 84, but uh, it's not where I thought they were based on other videos I've seen. I don't know that or I'm just missing it. But anyway, back to the small win. I've heard how bad these can be. In fact, a friend of mine uh, early on, one of my first 928 buddies, was showing me how he had to put his back together. This is Clay Grainer. Um, Clay and others. Mine is in pretty good shape. It's soft and pliable. Almost like it's been replaced or something or just got lucky and it hasn't deteriorated. So I'm not gonna poke around too much, but it feels pretty darn good as far as the pliability of it. So, hey, I'll take a small win. I do need to pull that out and clean it out and hopefully that'll take care of it. Otherwise I'm probably gonna have to replace that fan motor. All right, that'll wrap it up for this time, my 928 friends. So thank you for all your support with the different groups, Facebook and YouTube and Friendlist and Pelican and other places, uh, local people. Uh, everybody's been a big help and I really appreciate the community. And so got a lot of work left to do on this car. I'm trying to get ready to where I can actually feel comfortable driving it to Sharks in the Mountains in North Carolina which is about a, probably a six or seven hour drive for me, I'm guessing. I have to look it up. But uh, anyway, that's the goal. And probably the next thing I'm going to do to the car is uh, do a tune-up, put new plugs in, new wires, uh, cap rotor, uh, maybe on that. Uh, but I will do the plugs and wires for sure need to figure out how to tune it on the fuel and air mixture and idle adjustment and get the timing set and see where it goes from there. Also finish the grounds. Have not finished those yet. So a lot to do and I'm getting ready to get into my busy season with projects that I'm working on for my former employer. So hopefully I'll be able to get, uh, get a few things knocked out this week. So Here's another video in the books.